at this word gender identity. What is it? What does it mean? Well, the NHS definition is that it is the gender that a person identifies with or feels themselves to be. And the American Psychological Association says it refers to a person's internal sense of being male, female or something else. Now, the way I explain it is with this guy or gal, not sure. But we all have one of these. It's a skeleton. and We've all got one of these. We've all got 200 bones, all interacting, our femurs moving in our pelvis and our vertebrae twisting and buckling and our ribs and everything's in 24 hours a day. Our skeleton is moving. But are we aware of all these movements? Are we aware, aware of what our collarbone's doing at any minute of the day? No, we're not, because that's the way we're programmed. We just get on with our lives, except on the one occasion where you break one of these bones. And if you've broken your little toe, boy, does it hurt. And it distracts you from having a normal life because you've got to deal with that pain. And that's what gender identity is like. You don't feel it. Most people don't feel it uh, at all until it breaks. And when it does break, it's called gender dysphoria. And for many people, it hurts and it hurts very badly. And that's why charities like mine exist to help people who are, who are suffering. Now, again, this um, picture, you won't find any in any books. This is my own little design to try and explain this in a, in a bit more detail. Here you can see a series of concentric circles. Now, this is for someone who's not transgender. They are cisgender, controversial word, but it means the opposite of transgender. So they're cisgender. And in the middle, they have their, their gender identity, an internal sense, a feeling. And it's surrounded by their body, their skull, and the rest of their body. That is their, their sex, male, female. But around that is their gender expression. So anybody, male or female, can express. So you might be male, you can make yourself look like a woman. You might be female, you can make yourself look like a man, depending on your level of skill with um, makeup and other bits and pieces. And you see these circles are all concentric. There's no incompatibility between body and gender identity and the expression. So for most people, they've got the body of a male uh, person and they express themselves as a man. Or they might be female and they express themselves as a woman. But if we look at a transgender person, gender identity and body are not concentric. They're incongruent. And there is this overlap, this, this tectonic plate, this rubbing, which is the gender dysphoria. But around these two is the gender expression. And for transgender people who are in the closet, they haven't told anybody that they're transgender, they will feel, in my case, I feel very feminine. That's my natural state of being. But I have a male body. And for most of my life, I expressed myself as a man, this masculine, big, tough, all singing, all dancing army officer. Not. <laughs> uh, I tried to be a big old single dancing tough guy, but I was putting on an act, which I did for 25 years. And even Tom, Tom Cruise can't act for 25 years nonstop. So I now have come out and some of the time I express myself as a stereotypical woman and other times as a, as a, as a stereotypical man. Dysphoria can be shown as this overlap between body and gender identity. So I hope that uh, explains it to people who, who, who um, have struggled to understand what this concept is.